specifically for night shocky, you can see we got our, our lights so we can see to actually dip the fish at night. Then we have our generator to run those lights and we'll have our navigation lights and everything else of course. And then our generator for even you know, our regular shocking at day and, and night. This is our standard sampling that we do. We'll do it you know, every three or four years or so, kind of on a regular basis to keep some trend data. And we're just wanting to look at the population structure. So we'll do that by trying to get as many fish as we can in a set interval of time, which will be 10 minutes. Lake 10 Killer is such a clear lake, especially on this lower end, that if we have a visibility reading of greater than 10 feet, then we'll do night electro fishing. That helps us with our, our catch rates, but also the idea is that the, in the fall, 60 degrees or so, maybe a little bit warmer, these fish will follow the bait fish up into the creek arms and then the warmer water come up shallower to feed and it'll make them more vulnerable to be caught by our electro fishing gear. Out here tonight, basically it's we don't have any moonlight out here, so it's it's pretty dark. Uh, our biggest method of navigation out here with our locators is our GPS unit on it. We've already got our our stations preset in a locator. We're able to travel from one spot to the next. So we're out here surveying our smallmouth bass, but you can see we also catch our largemouth bass as bycatch. Normally we do our largemouth bass shocking pre-spawn in the spring, April-ish, somewhere like that. But this also gives us a chance to look and see what they look like. We're keeping tabs on these guys, but we're not gonna weigh and measure them like we do the smallmouth since we're looking for the smallmouth tonight. Ninety-six, three thirty. Small now. I've been hooked before. Three twenty. Four twenty-five. Three forty four, five ten, two ninety seven, two ninety five, two oh two, one hundred.